We all know that it's important to eat fruits and vegetables to keep our bodies healthy. But when you go to the store, do you choose fruit with or without seeds? Wait, without seeds? Let's think about that for a second. Fruits grow from seeds, right? So how do we get seedless produce? Is there genetic tampering going on? Are seedless watermelons frankenfruit? The answer is no. Growers use time-tested methods such as crossbreeding and even hijack some of the plant's natural traits. Some of this know-how dates back to grape cultivation in ancient Rome. But before we continue, we need to make one thing clear. Even if seedless fruit were genetically modified, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Extensive testing has shown that genetically modified crops are not harmful to human health. But anyway, many fruits and vegetables, including cucumbers, can dispense with seeds by natural means. Here's what happens. Cucumber plants are either male or female. Normally, a bee or a bird visits the flowers of multiple cucumber plants, carrying pollen from one to another and fertilizing them. But when no pollinator visits, the cuke plant still forms fruit. These fruit, however, lack fully formed seeds. This phenomenon has a fancy scientific name, parthenocarpy. Many plants can be parthenocarpic, including bananas, pineapples, navel oranges, pears, cucumbers, the list goes on. Take the watermelon. Like humans, watermelon have two copies of each chromosome, one from the mama plant and one from the papa plant. When breeders spray hormones onto watermelon plants, the plants mutate, developing extra copies of their chromosomes. Breeders cross them with normal plants, and the outcome is a watermelon plant that is essentially sterile, with fruit that lacks fully formed seeds. Crossbreeding requires a lot of effort, but it pays off. About 8 out of 10 watermelons bought in the U.S. are seedless. By contrast, genetic modification is the process of going in and editing genes within chromosomes. Ag researchers have used this to make types of corn resistant to pests, and even papayas that are resistant to a tree disease called ring spot virus. The reason people use crossbreeding rather than genetic modification to create seedless fruit is that the process is cheaper and easier. And time and time again, buyers choose seedless fruit. We don't have to spit out the watermelon seeds. It's a simpler way to eat.